Right now, many small businesses across Arizona are hoping to keep their employees from joining that quickly growing number, but they've been shut down by the coronavirus. And now many say that they've been shut out by a massive federal loan program that's supposed to help keep them and their workers afloat. Team 12's Bram Resnick spoke to the owners of a Queen Creek bagel shop who say they can't get any answers from banks lending the money. A long-standing dream, now a reality, slowly turning into a nightmare. So. <laughs> Matt and Lindsay Aronson say time is running out on them and their Queen Creek bagel store. Everyone, I feel, is just overwhelmed and the infrastructure was just not in place. And no one has any answers. The Aronsons are among thousands of small business owners grasping for Congress's $350 billion lifeboat. The Paycheck Protection Program lends money to businesses damaged by the coronavirus outbreak. It covers two and a half times monthly payroll and all of the loan could be forgiven. So we can keep the doors open so I can keep my employees who have families and young children um, able to pay their rent and put food on the table. The loan pipeline might come unclogged in the next week, but even more businesses will become eligible. The Arizona Bankers Association said in a statement, the problems with the Small Business Administration's electronic access system are being resolved. They are working with Amazon Web Services to accommodate the expected surge of applications beginning Friday with the opening of the program to independent contractors and sole proprietorships. There is also hope for an infusion of hundreds of billions more dollars from Congress. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.